Hi guys, um, I'm back, I'm settled down now so I'm going to be making a lot more videos and um, you'll see a lot more of me, um, I'm not sure if that's a good or bad thing um, but there you go. Um, this is the first part of my New York haul, um, I'm going to do a second part and in that I'm going to show the bags and shoes and clothes I got when I was in New York um, but this video is only going to be about um, the beauty products I got. Um, I got a lot of nail polishes so I'm going to start with them first. All of them are from Dwayne Reed in New York or Dune Reed um, and I love when I go to New York because all the nail polish over there is a, I was about to say, a hell of a lot cheaper than uh, what I would get over here so um, that's why I went a wee bit mental on them. The first one I got is um, Mrs O'Leary's Barbecue and it really is a barbecue colour. Um, I know this is a classic and lots and lots of people have it but it's one that I didn't have and that's why I need to add it to my collection. The next one is uh, William Tell Me About OPI and it's a similar colour. I love these dark classic shades um, and this is kind of a dark um, plum colour nearly with a bit of barbecue in it as well. I then got um, Barefoot in Barcelona and this is a beautiful uh, nude and this one is actually the colour that I wore on my toes on my wedding day um, and it's kind of more a pinky beige nude than any other I know you can get different types of nude but that's what that one is uh, the next one I got is Miami Beat and again this is one that lots and lots of people have I love this colour it actually is my spring colour so spring slash summer colour um, the next one I got is by Essie and I haven't actually seen a lot of people talk about this one but I'm in love with it um, and it is a colour called Wicked and it's a nearly like um, a dark brown but when you put it on a little bit of cherry red comes out in it I know I, I'm not making sense but it just trust me it is beautiful and that's called Wicked um, I then got Mink Moss um, and again this is one that everybody has and I just needed to add it to my collection and again I understand the whole hype of it I just I think it's brilliant really love it and the last nail polish I got was at one by Sephora and it's still OPI and it's non-fat soy half cast um, and it's a proper baby pink nude colour so I was in New York and I decided that I had to try each of the colours on on every single nail only to realise I had no nail polish remover, no wipes, no nothing so I looked like a completely another mad woman with all these colours on so I had to go get nail polish remover and of course I had to get the little container um, that I see so many people with and I was so jealous so I'm delighted that I have one now and it's the wee pump and you pump it up uh, onto your cotton pad and it's no mess and no fuss, it's brilliant and then I put just um, it's just a wee cheap uh, nail polish remover inside it that I got in New York. So delighted with that. Um, I also got to go to a CCO. Um, I've heard so much about them and never been to one. So when I got to go to one I was like going mad. Um, but I only came away with two things which I think is quite good. One of them is an eyeshadow called Cam Cool and Collected. I don't know what collection this is from. Um, and it's, I'll take it out of the packaging, that one maybe would help. It's obviously by MAC and ooh, there's a lot of packaging to it and it's three colours and it is absolutely beautiful. Um, if you want a review on any of these products just leave a comment below. Just give me a shout um, and I'll tell you all about it but this just is absolutely beautiful. Um, the next thing I got from the CCO is by Bobby Brown. Hopefully this won't blind you. Um, but this is Moon Rock Longwear Eye Palette and I have one of these Longwear Eye Palettes and it's in a different colour and I literally use it all the time and the eyeliner that is in the one that I have as well is called Black Topaz and I would have bought this just because of the eyeliner it is just beautiful, it's like a dark green really really nice um, but the colours in this I'll take it out instead of just showing you the box you obviously get your little brush and then you get oh sugar 
This is the colour, obviously. I don't know if the camera will pick it up. That's beautiful. Um, oh, this is tricky. That's there. I'm just trying to see if you can see that. Um, I might put swatches of this in my blog so that you can see it um, up more closely because they really are really, really nice colours. Um, I'm sorry if I'm flying through this, I just have so much stuff and I don't want the video to cut out on me. Um, the next one I got is a little lip balm and it's EOS and again everybody has these so I had to have one. Um, and I don't know what the smell of this is but it smells nearly like tutti frutti. It is, if I could eat this I would eat it, it is amazing. Um, I didn't get this in the cosmetics company, I just got the Bobbi Brown and the MAC just in case you thought I got this. Um, I then also went in, when it was in Sephora, I got a Stila eyeliner and this is in Flash and if I take this out, it's really thin. The brush looks like that and that's it there. And this is absolutely impossible to get off. It is torture to some people but for me this is brilliant. absolutely love it. Um, I got another uh, blusher by NARS because I was using Orgasm um, but I, I love it but I just wanted something a bit different and this is Deep Throat and it is a proper baby pink and this is the colour that comes out on, on your cheek it is absolutely to die for beautiful and really good for summer or when it does the sun does shine um, I also got um, Makeup Forever Smoky Lash um, the reason it's still in the packaging and the reason that I haven't opened it yet is because I'm trying to use up another one. Um, so if you have any opinions on this or any comments on how to use it, obviously leave me a comment. Um, but I'm actually dying to get used in this one. I got, as well from Stila, I got a lip glaze in watermelon. And this is brilliant. It's, if, you don't, if, you like, um, if you don't like sticky lip gloss, stay well away from these if you do. These are brilliant, but they really are the like this really does taste like watermelon and smells like watermelon. It's amazing, but very very sticky. I also got which I will show you because I have it ripped open, and um, is the lip treatments by Fresh, and this one is uh, in Sugar Rose, and it just looks like that. Um, that's the packaging of it. And that's actually what I have on my lips at the moment. Just very subtle. It's more lip balm than um, like colour, but it has a wee tint of colour. I also got the Corey's lip butter. I went mad on nails and lips for some reason. And in guava. Oh, it smells. It just it smells really sweet and coconutty. It's lovely. And that's that. And if you follow my blog at all, you'll see that when I'm before I was going, I was dying to get um, some of the Chanel summer collection. One thing I wanted was the bronzer, and I got it in the coral, the coral bronzer, and it was it's absolutely gorgeous. And I also got their signature red lipstick, um, but I was very good, and I gave them to my mum for Mother's Day, as there was only one bronzer left in Saks Fifth Avenue. Um, and I looked around and I couldn't find the collection, it was sold out. So I gave it to my mum, which I'm very proud of, because um, I could have kept it for myself. But I did treat myself to a uh, Chanel uh, lip gloss. And of course it has nothing to do with the packaging for the reason that I bought it. And it's like a baby pink crawl colour. And I absolutely love it. And I love taking it out of my bag, because I'm sad that way. Um, and that's it, that's what I got. Sorry I've rushed through it, but I wanted to get showing you all of the things and if I can be cheesy and say stay tuned for part two and uh, I'll be back but thanks for watching. Bye!